Behind the success of China's WZ-10, is there an unknown history of international technical cooperation? Why does this helicopter gunship, nicknamed Chinese Kamov by the Russian media, display unique Russian genes in its appearance and performance, yet realize independent breakthroughs in key technologies? When people marvel at its thunderbolt fame, this research and development process spanning three decades may reveal the difficult transformation of China's military industry from technology introduction to independent innovation. In the late 1980s, when the Chinese Army Air Corps was first established, it tried to catch up with the world trend through Western cooperation. But with the dramatic changes in the international political landscape, the early 1990s, the United States and Europe on China's military technology embargo suddenly tightened, forcing China to look to the collapse of the Soviet Union after the economic difficulties of Russia. At that time, Although the Russian military industrial system had suffered a severe blow, the Mi-28 Havoc of the Miri Design Bureau and the coaxial dual rotor technology of the Kamov Design Bureau still caught China's eye. 1994, China and the Kamov Design Bureau signed a cooperation agreement, codenamed Project 941, under which the Russian side was responsible for the overall design. In 1994, China and the Kamov Design Bureau signed a cooperation agreement code named Project 941, whereby the Russian side was responsible for the overall design and aerodynamic layout validation, while the Chinese side led the subsequent detailed design and system integration, which was called Chinese Kamov by the Russian side and became the starting point for the birth of the WZ-10. According to declassified information, the Russian team completed the aerodynamic shape wind tunnel testing and structural framework design within two years, and its core achievements included the rear three-point landing gear layout, short-winged weapon mounting program and tandem cockpit design. These features were clearly visible on the later WZ-10, especially the high similarity of its rotor system to Kamov's classic design, confirming the deep involvement of Russian technology. However, the cooperation was not smooth. The Russian side adopted a segmented acceptance model, with each stage requiring confirmation from the Chinese side before proceeding. And this technology relay not only guaranteed the Chinese side's dominance, but also laid the groundwork for subsequent independent research and development. The final design, which was delivered in 1996, did not involve specific production. The final design, delivered in 1996, did not involve specific production but set up the technical framework for China's modern helicopter gunships. However, the path from drawings to actual helicopters was far more difficult than expected. China encountered choke points in three core areas. The originally planned Pratt & Whitney PT-6C67C engine was interrupted due to U.S. interference, and the initial power of the domestic turboshaft 9 engine was only 980 kW, which was 15% lower than the design requirements directly leading to the reduction of armor protection and weapon loads on the prototype protection and weapon loads. Russia's air and space defense magazine has disclosed that Chinese engineers have partially turned the lack of power into a maneuverability advantage through an original engine exhaust cooling system and composite rotor technology, making the WZ-10 astonishingly maneuverable at the 2012 Zhuhai Air Show with its unique style of being underpowered and yet flexible. In the field of avionics system, China has come out of a road of integrated innovation. The target acquisition instruction, pilot's night vision system of the WZ-10, though referring to the mature Western products, has reached the international advanced level with the fusion algorithm of the laser range finder and thermal imager. What is more commendable is that China is the first to realize the dual-channel full-authority digital electronic control system on the helicopter gunship and this technology only appeared in the U.S. Army's Apache Block II improved model in 2015. This late-stage advantage is particularly prominent in the weapon system. Red Arrow 10 anti-tank missiles using semi-active laser guidance, armor-piercing capability of 1,400 mm, with the Tianyin 90 air-to-air -air missiles to form the air-ground-air three-dimensional strike, with the Tianyin 90 air-to-air -air missile to form a air-ground Three-dimensional strike system, WZ-10, has become one of the few helicopter gunships in the world with the ability to fight against drones and low-altitude fighters. When the WZ-10 was deployed in 2010, 
Its strategic value far exceeded the equipment itself. It pushed China's land and aviation establishment from regimental to brigade level, with each brigade equipped with 1216 WZ-10S as standard, which together with the Z-19 reconnaissance model formed a high, low mix, a mode of operation that demonstrated devastating strikes against armored clusters in the 2017 Ju Rihi exercise. However, compared with the US I-64 Apache, the WZ-10's six-ton size makes its ammunition capacity only half of the latter's, and its range is only 1,100 kilometers, which is especially obvious in plateau combat. To this end, China has initiated two upgrade paths, one is to replace the Sino-French jointly developed turboshaft 16 engine to increase the power to 1,500 kW so that the armor protection and weapon load return to the original design indicators. The second is to Z-20 general purpose helicopter platform as the basis for the development of 10-ton heavy armed helicopters. Through the modularization of the design of the realization of the one machine, multiple types, the second is to develop a 10-ton heavy armed helicopter based on the Z-20 general purpose helicopter platform, realizing one machine, many types, through modular design. Of more strategic significance is the advanced heavy helicopter project signed by China and Russia in 2019, marking the upgrading of the two sides from a buy-sell relationship to a technical partnership. This takeoff weight of 38 tons, load 15 tons of air beast, not only fill the blank of China's heavy helicopters, its use of I-136T turboshaft engine, and fly-by-wire control system, more future heavy weapons straight laid the technical foundation. It is interesting to note that, when the U.S. defense world worried about the Chinese Z-20 will replace the Russian made Mi-17, the PLA in 2020, but the additional purchase of the Mi-171SH assault helicopters with Sturm V missile system, this two-legged walk strategy, both to keep the helicopter in the air, but also to keep the helicopter in the air, this two-legged approach strategy, not only to maintain technological autonomy, but also through the introduction of special platforms to gain tactical advantages, showing the maturing of China's military industry international game wisdom. From Project 941 to All Project, the evolution history of WZ-10 reflects the unique development logic of China's military industry. It dares to invest a huge amount of money to introduce technical framework in key areas realizes technical digestion through system integration, and then completes the transcendence with continuous innovation. This path has been verified again in the research and development of Z-20, Plateau Eagle, although its five-piece rotor design is borrowed from the experience of Blackhawk. The breakthroughs in anti-de-icing system and turbojet 10 engine have made it possible to fly on the sea. The breakthroughs in anti-icing system and turboshaft 10 engine have enabled it to show better performance than the original version over the Bengong Lake at an altitude of 7,000 meters. When the West is still arguing about Chinese copy, the WZ-10's Russian blood has long been integrated into the genes of independent innovation, and this climbing on the shoulders of giants model may be the key to the rise of China's military industry. This model of Climbing on the shoulders of giants may be the core code for the rise of China's military industry.